Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the Prehistoric Werewolves Challenge. And we're already getting werewolves transforming because it's the full moon. So this is the collective family of Macy Hernandez and Akeem Youngblood. So we're starting off on a rough patch, but it is summer. So I have adjusted a few of the things that I'm considering for doing the death rolls. Also, th this is a trigger warning for this video. If you don't like doing death rolls for infants, babies, children, and pregnancy, then please don't watch this series. So we're just trying to get through transformation right now. So I'm just going to let them run around and do whatever because they haven't found the cave yet. So they can't be locked away in the panic rooms. And we have Macy pregnant. So this is the first time I think that we'll be able to name the babies. If by chance we get the babies to be born before there is a death roll. So the way the death rolls work is I have the lot traits, earthquake and volcanic bomb on this lot and if those lot challenges trigger then we have to do a death roll for everyone on the lot okay it looks like we're turning back into normal sims from werewolves now in order to reach the caves we have to find our way through the tunnels i'm not sure what happened here but my sound from OBS got completely removed. So now I'm going to have to do this as a voiceover, which I've not tried before. So please be patient. Akeem got hurt in the tunnels and I think it's causing him to not be able to find any more paths. He keeps getting lost and kicked out. I think what we're gonna have to do is have Macy go into the tunnels, even though she's pregnant. Macy also got hurt, but it looks like she's not hurt as bad, so hopefully she'll still be able to find her way. Macy was able to find the first path. And that's path number two. You need to find three paths in order to get to the underground cave, and it looks like Akeem has got the third one now, so I'm going to have him go and meet up with Macy and just tell her where the last one is. And now we can access the underground cave. We can read the books here, cook on the grill, and do all of the things that we need to do underground. So I sent Akeem fishing because we need to keep up a food supply. Oh, and look, here's Paka. Paka actually isn't a werewolf, so we need to work on werewolf sympathy eventually. So let's say hi. Meanwhile, back at the cave, Macy is reading some werewolf books. I think we have enough fish for now, so Akeem is going to start reading his werewolf books too. And Macy has finished her werewolf initiate aspiration, so now we're going to work on the Emissary of the Collective. So Macy needs to join the Collective, but it looks like there's no one out here except for a bunch of cats and plants. I guess it's 4.22 a.m., so that shouldn't surprise me. Akeem has also finished his Werewolf Initiate Aspiration, and he's also going to do the Emissary of the Collective. Oh look, there's someone. Let's go say hi, Macy, before he gets away. Well, Jacob is not the leader, but here comes Lily. Let's say hi to her, too. Oh, there's Christopher. Hey, wait, wait, don't go. Okay, I guess he decided to come back. Let's try to say hello to Christopher because he is the leader of the collective and we need to make friends with him in order to get in. Why is it an awkward encounter? Don't you like me, Christopher? Oh no, oh, I forgot. Macy is an overachiever, which means she's going to have a difficult time getting to know Christopher because she doesn't have any charisma skill. Pax, how about instead you just pack it up and leave? Well, that's rude, Christopher. Why are you so mean? I think maybe Akeem will have better luck getting to know Christopher, so we'll let Macy go back to the cave. After your bath, you can work on your charisma because you're not very charming, Macy. And yes, I did add the mold lot trait because it's another death and we need to have all of the dangers that we can have in this series. 
Akeem got the active trait, so we're going to be active. That's a good one. Time to cook some dinner and, oh, Macy reached level 2 with the charisma skill. Let me just step outside real quick to get rid of this fear that I have. Fear of the dark is so annoying. Since Macy is pregnant, she can't work out, but she can read fitness books. So fitness helps her survive and it will also be added to her pregnancy for any disasters. She should read some parenting books too because parenting will be added to her children's score for survival. Akeem is actually a slob, so I'm having him clean up. Hopefully he'll get the neat trait instead. You can sometimes swap out traits if you do things. And Macy's gone into labor. She needs to take a quick nap though. She's really tired. Time to wake up just in time to be attacked by spiders. Yeah, the creepy crawlies lot trait is on. Since we're on ley line, we are more likely to get twins, but I actually had the game set up to get a maximum of six babies. It's a boy. Now I actually have some names from a previous episode that were left in the comments, but unfortunately I was not able to use them until now because every time I had a baby, it was when I wasn't playing the household and the game automatically named the babies. And unfortunately you cannot change the name of a newborn. So we're going to go with Crag and it's a girl. And the girl's name is going to be River. And we had twins, two babies. As soon as we're done having babies, we need to get pregnant again. Because unfortunately, I tend to lose the females so early. Oh, and this animation is so cute. And it's so much more hilarious when it's this rock cave CC instead of the regular tent. The first try didn't work. So we're going to try in the onsen next. I have this down in the third basement. And Macy's eating for two. Yeah, I know pregnancy tests really shouldn't exist in prehistoric times, but unfortunately, if you don't use it in The Sims, it makes the pregnancy last four days instead of three. I guess you can work out with a pregnant Sim in the first trimester. Although I think if you are physically fit, it allows you to work out longer, but I'm not sure. We'll have to test that. It's a pity that the game sound also didn't come through on the recording. So you can't hear the babies crying. The babies, they sound like little werewolves. It's actually kind of cute. If you have the werewolf pack, you should try to listen to one of the babies crying. Parenting level four. Taking care of newborns is one of the fastest ways to get your parenting skill up. Okay. I have had Akeem cleaning all day long and Macy did one load of laundry in the wash bucket and has mopped one puddle and she gets the neat trait. Fine, she's neat. I suppose it makes sense that it's easier for a regular person to become neat than a slob to switch over to being neat. The kids' birthdays are sometime today. Level 5 parenting, and we're almost halfway through the week. No disasters yet. Well, it looks like it's time to rampage again. At least Akeem was able to regain control. The thing about slobs is when they change, their clothes go onto the floor. Well, guess what, Akeem? Every time you do that, I'm going to make you manually pick it up and take it to the hamper. It's also River and Crag's birthday. Unfortunately, Macy is still rampaging. She cannot regain control. I guess I can allow Akeem to age them up. Happy birthday, Crag! And Crag is going to be cautious. Happy birthday, River. It's your turn now. River is going to be wiggly. Based on experience, we're going to get started with these infants early. Time for tummy time and trying to get them to sit up. Macy has transformation mastery now, so we'll just keep her in werewolf form. And she's going to feed River. What's going on over here? Oh, um, Landon Ogden. Is this one of my Sims? I can't remember. It might be just a regular townie. 
Well, sorry, Landon, you're on your own. What happened is he's next to a bonfire and he's wearing regular clothes. So he overheated since it's a heat wave. Now River can lift her head. Finally, we're swapping from slob to neat. So Akeem will no longer have that trait as a negative trait. Akeem is just going to cloud gaze with Christopher for a little while. And Macy's going to take care of the babies. You can do it, Craig. Lift your head. Come on. I know you can do it. There you go. Akeem is now a friend of the Moonwood Mill Collective. Now let's try to join the pack. Hey, Christopher, can I join the pack? Sure, you're in. Yay, Crag rolled over to his back. River also rolled over, but we're not done, River. Sorry, stop crying. And it's time for River to roll over to her tummy. She was practicing sitting, so yep, yeah, she rolled over to her tummy. So now she can do tummy time by herself, and she just needs one more milestone to sit up. Akeem, what are you doing over here next to Greg? Now, typically, when we run into Greg, I make them fight, and if you lose, you have to do a death roll. But since Greg is asleep and Akeem is running away, I think I'll let him get away with this one. Craig also rolled over onto his tummy, so he just needs to sit up as well. And sit up achieved and unlocked. So now Craig can get food from the high chair. Now River is sitting up and running away from mom. Come on, River, hold still so I can feed you. One of the easiest ways to make a friend is to go fishing and ask them to fish with you, but then stop fishing and then mentor them if you have higher skill than they do. This makes your friendship go up so fast. So we found the mail delivery person and pretty sure she's not a werewolf. So we'll try to make friends with her because we do need to get werewolf diplomacy at some time. So how about some werewolf sympathy? We're good people. Um, I guess that's a no. And she's leaving. Okay, bye. And parenting level six. Macy is such a good mother and River is so darn cute. I love her hair and her little outfit. She's learning to creep over there. Akeem is just making one more friend. Yeah, Lily's our friend now. So we finished that part of the aspiration. Now we just need to be a good ambassador and become alpha of the Moonwood Mill Collective. Well, it's Friday morning and still no sign of any disasters. I think this is the longest we've ever gone without having a disaster. Well, I spoke too soon. Now we're having an earthquake. So now we have to do some death rolls. And I actually forgot to check when I aged the infants up. Crag does not have any werewolf traits, but River is a greater wolf blood. So hopefully she survives. So let's do the rolls. Oh, and we lost Macy and Akeem. Okay, so this time, even though Macy's pregnancy survived, we lost the female yet again, and we lost the other parent, which is Akeem. So the mother and the father are both dead. What we can do in this instance, though, is since they are part of the collective, we can take the two infants that survived and move them over to the other collective family so that we at least keep River, who is a greater wolf blood. Well, here we are at the other family, and this is Jonathan Paris. He actually is raising two toddlers that are also not his own. So Jonathan's wife died and he has two adopted toddlers, Caitlin and Gabrielle Ennis. And both of their parents actually passed away as well. So now we have Craig and River here. So it's a good thing I taught them how to eat from the high chair because now we can give them table food. Oh no, River doesn't like rice porridge. That's what I use instead of fish. So she's not going to eat the porridge. She's going to push it away, which means I can't feed her fish right now. 
For some reason, Jonathan does not even know Christopher. And I know Jonathan was part of the collective pack before. I think what happened is that the mate of Ennis, you know, whoever Caitlin and Gabrielle's father was, actually was the collective leader. And that's how Jonathan joined the collective. And I can't find a way to cheat Jonathan back into the collective. So we're just going to have to befriend Christopher and rejoin again for some reason when he, oh, he died. That's right. Okay. So he died and basically everything got reset. But since he was not part of my household and he froze to death, I decided to resurrect him. And unfortunately, he's not part of the collective anymore. I guess Jonathan needs a nap. He's being rude to Christopher. Apologize, Jonathan. Oh, and then don't immediately be mean to him. Come on, I guess he can't talk to Christopher right now. The kids need to eat again. Well, at least Crag is unsure about the rice porridge and he'll still eat it. Once they dislike it, they won't eat it unless they're starving. This is what happens when they take a bite of something they don't like. Oh no, wait, I don't like that. And then she refuses to take any further bites because she figures that you have something that she doesn't like. River does not like the rice porridge. And see, she's still hungry, but she will not take another bite. You get a little bit every time you try to feed her, but she will not go green. Fine, let's see if I have something else. I have mushroom, I have plantain. Well, what about a bell pepper? We can say that the bell pepper is maybe peas because it's a vegetable. I like to use the same thing for basically simulating a infant's preferences. So every time I feed River bell pepper, I'm going to have to give her peas. And oh no, she did not like the peas. Well, you're just being picky, River. All right, how about the hummus? We have mushrooms and I count that as hummus. Well, it looks like she will eat that at least for now. I don't think she knows if she likes it or not though. No, she's unsure. So all the kids are asleep and Jonathan needs some fun. He's an active sim and he has the active lifestyle, but he doesn't like fitness. Oh, Jonathan, you're a mess. Okay, we're going to give River some papaya, but it's actually tomatoes. I had nothing that was even remotely close to tomatoes, but since papaya is orange and oh, oh no, we have another disaster. Okay, and she's unsure about papaya. Well, that doesn't matter. We have to do death rolls now. And okay, there are no fires. So I've adjusted everything for Jonathan's parenting level and all of the traits. And let's see what we get. Oh, we did lose one of the kids. So unfortunately, we lost Gabrielle. But at least we didn't lose Jonathan because he was the last adult. Oh, River likes papaya. Well, that's good. I could just feed her tomatoes then. I like to be able to get their hunger all the way up into green because then I can do other things and not waste so much time putting them in and out of the high chair. Oh, there's some mold down here, but Jonathan is rampaging, so he's going to the lockout room. Let's see if we can regain control. Sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't, but we're supposed to since we're part of the collective. Okay, we did regain control. Maybe Jonathan can get some fun by playing with the kids. I haven't really figured out a way to solve his fun need since he doesn't like reading books because that makes him furious. And he also doesn't like fitness despite being active and having a high intensity lifestyle. For some reason, he doesn't like fitness. I think maybe he was doing a fitness activity and then decided he didn't like it because he was uncomfortable. Well, roughhousing wasn't very fun. Let's see if playing with the dollhouse is fun. I can't believe that they actually fixed this though. This hasn't worked for me in a long time. And it still doesn't look like it's very fun, but it's something. Okay, well, Craig doesn't like papaya, so he will have to eat the rice porridge or the fish. 
Well, Jonathan is probably going to lose his energetic lifestyle, but he does like looking at frogs. Yeah, that's fun. I'm going to say that this is the end of the week. And so thanks for watching. I'm sorry if the voiceover was a little weird. I'm not used to doing it this way. And we'll have to say that we need to do something about losing everyone. So if we ever have a household that dies completely out, including all of the children, because we don't have another adult to move them to, then we have to increase the likelihood that everyone will survive by at least 1% for all of the categories. And I might also say that if we happen to have an elder who dies of old age, that we also get to increase the likelihood that everyone survives. And I'm not sure exactly how I'll do that, but let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas. This is Charity. Thanks for watching. Memberships are also now available, so check out the join button.